It's the return of the Obra Din. My name is Phil Jameson, and we're playing it today. And I, I peaked a little bit there, and I won't yell that loud again. Lost it. See, oh, I just immediately yelled that loud again. <laughs> took me took me three seconds. Lost at sea, eighteen oh three. The good ship, Obradin. The good ship. I wonder if we're gonna see the bad ship. Built seventeen ninety six, London, eight hundred tons, eighteen foot draft. Draught. What is what is that in sailing? Oh, okay. Screw me, I guess. Uh, the Oberdin has returned, dispatched to Falmouth immediately, and prepare full assessment. I don't know what it means in terms of nautical terms. I know if I'm having a friggin' beer, right? <laughs> Ouch, my tooth. All right. Falmouth, England. Company man woke me up. That's right. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. That's right. Vertical distance between the waterline and the bottom of the hole. Hmm. Depth almost, kind of, but only half. A little bit. Good to Played through this game twice and I have 25 and a half hours on it, so maybe you're just slow. I don't know. Hoist the top in a few minutes. Hey! Ow! Carefully. This guy's got a classic grumbly voice. Classic, I'm a, I'm a sailor type fella. All right, so we got ourselves a WASDA control scheme. Got ourselves a little uh, orb that I would like to... Okay, we're going on in. It would appear we are on some sort of Star Trek holodeck scenario. Oh no, this is a ship, okay. Gonna look over here. I can't jump, nor can I run. I'm not gonna go in those doors yet. I'm gonna look over here first. Got some uh, hula hoops. Little uh, sparkly thing over there. In the water. Some sort of sparkly thing in the water. Make note of the sparkly thing in the water and move on with our lives. Would appear we have ourselves Oi! a corpse. It's too heavy. Was that corpse there before and I missed it? Hmm. Uh, I can't look at him. Oh, here it is. Okay. Too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. I've got a book. Return of the Oberdin, a catalog of adventure and tragedy. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within Face. the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only Face. the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Face. Hello, Gab. Wow! They assigned me a friggin' novel, dude! Okay. Oh, okay, Thanks. never mind. The journey. What on earth? 
earth is going on? Atlantic leg of the Far East route. The journey. Body. Face. Okay, well... I see. Okay, so we're going there, down, and then we go... Can we see the next part? I understand now what's going on. We started in uh, GB, although at, at the time, yeah. And then uh, through Madeira, Canary Islands, Cape Verde. Probably stopped at Madeira. And then ended in South Africa. Deck plans for the Oberdin. <clears throat> Captain's quarters, passenger's cabin, it's main deck. Gun deck, oh boy. Oh boy, guys, we're do <laughs> we're doing some <laughs> doing some deduction, aren't we? What's up, Burb? <laughs> I feel we you know those logic puzzles. I feel like I'm about to have a logic puzzle. Like uh, uh, the second mate uh, is, is neither brothers with the first or third mate. Uh, <laughs> okay, the crew. All right. Uh, Robert Witterell is the captain. William Hoskett. What's up, Bren? Edward Nichols. Martin Perrot. Boy. Oh, my God. Dude. What? Is... Oh, my God. Uh, that's exactly right, Duffy. Okay. Uh, sketches of life aboard the Oberdin. Oh, my God. It looks fun. Underway. Dude, I kind of want to play some friggin' craps with these fellas. Get me on the friggin' deck, dude. The Formosan royalty. Okay, so they're the passengers. Okay. Justice at sea. Oh, boy. Hey, come on. Dad. All right, so I might be able to tell who this is by their clothing in the previous... Maybe. Got the same boots. In the same jacket, in the same pants. So that that could be uh, that could be something. That could be something right there. Oh. Also, maybe we could uh, identify them by looking at all of the other people uh, here. And this is E S. So E S drew this. Quite the artist. Let's take another look at this here. E S. Is there an easier way to scroll? Yeah, okay. W A S D is much easier than not. I don't see Edward Spratt, artist. There we go. Edward Spratt. Died drawing. Okay. Loose cargo. Part two, on the cargo deck. A bitter cold. On the Orlop deck, murder. Outside the first mate's window. Unholy captives. Oh. On the cargo deck again, soldiers of the sea. In the port walk on the cargo deck, the doom on the bow on the gun deck. I don't think I'm going to find anything that's useful right now. 
until you leave the ship and return the book to me. Spooky. <laughs> Welcome back for 49 months, Morgan. Glossary, okay. Back to the table of contents. Who's that? Okay, how do I close out of the book? Tab, okay. And I also have <clears throat> a stopwatch. Remember death. I'm going to tell you, I don't want a watch like that. I don't want a watch that has a skull on it that tells me to remember death. I remember it enough as is, you know? I don't need, uh, I don't need to do it every time I ask what time it is. Back to the corpse. Time to die. Remember death. He just finished Sekiro. He remembers death. Okay, so if I click... Oh. It's a magic watch. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Okay, so this is the captain. He's got, uh... Yes. Flint lock pistol. He has. Uh... Okay, I can't get by him. Hey. What's up, Burp? He has slain a man with a pickaxe, and that's the corpse that we're seeing here. There's a second fella. You get a certain amount of time. Hey. I don't know really what I'm supposed to look for, so unfortunate. What's up, couch? How do I know it's this guy? The end. Okay, so it's gonna tell me who the folks are. Okay, this is the captain. Maybe the first mate. And then one of the fellas. Uh, the green of this game looks like my stream green when I end it, yeah. Okay, so E does something in, st in the stream. Or in the game. The captain. Okay, so the captain killed the person standing next to the captain. One has to assume either the first mate or the second mate. First mate may be doing a mutiny along with whoever this is. Uh, and then... 
Okay. Who's this? We got ourselves. <clears throat> Guy with a knife in his mouth. And that's about it. Okay. And then there's a door here. Let's see what going through the door does. Sends us back to the future, I guess. All right. I'm going to quickly look at controls to see if see what I'm missing. Oh, it doesn't tell me controls. So I have to just guess that I can hit E? <clears throat> or maybe I'm not supposed to know about that yet. Oh, click it. Ah. I thought that was like the type of control. <laughs> I've never seen a button that says view to open up controls. Uh, space for action, E to zoom. Escape to pause, tab to open book. Okay. Like, I, I thought none of the other w <laughs> That's very strange to me. All right. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. I don't know if I buy those noises as being a fight to the death. <laughs> it's like. First mate again. Oh no, this captain again. Dude, the captain's going ape shit. Uh, excuse me? This is the same dude? No, it's gotta be. How is it the same dude? It wasn't. Okay, okay. So the the first mate did the first thing. Oh. So can I, okay, appears in two memories, yeah. Bookmark memories where they appear for faster navigation. Okay, I, I don't wanna do, okay. Use the buttons at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. Okay. Pulled an all nighter playing this game because I just couldn't put it down. I could definitely see once I figure out like what the mechanics are, this is going to be very satisfying to solve. Uh, Got ourselves this guy jumping straight off. Oh no, is he, he's gonna come under and he's gonna try to come from behind. Get the captain from behind, isn't he? Sneaky. Very sneaky of the guy climbing that rope. Buckets. Okay. Well. Oh boy. It's okay. Am I like way off center now? Yeah, I'll fix it. Apollo, up to some, up to some tricks. I think maybe Apollo threw a ball under and Bailey had to like get the ball or something. I'm not sure. 
Uh, okay, so I think we're good on the memory. I still don't really know what I'm supposed to do, so I can go back to it if I need to, I, I assume. Uh, is that guy okay? No, the guy with the uh, captain's knife through his throat, I don't think he's chill. Uh, so this is going to be my guess. That guy, either the captain or that guy that came from the other side. <laughs> Ah, two people. Wait, what? Okay, so that was just the end of the other one. Having a nap. He said... Captain is definitely popping off. What is this weapon? This is just a stick. Based on the blood spatter, we can assume, I don't know. All right. Dude, Cap is, Cap is going, dude. Inside the captain's quarters, one other person was present. Okay. Well, I'm guessing that the uh, that this is the first mate. So my guess, like like why? I want to see the p picture. Can I not go from here? Okay. Uh oh 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 oh, oh. okay. Uh, so this guy got shot. Gun. By the captain. Neat. But I know who it is. Well, I don't know. Okay. Unblared when information necessary to reveal them has become known. Okay, this person was knifed by Captain Robert Witterell. And the final person was clubbed by Captain Robert Witterell. <laughs> The whole book is just killed by Captain Robert Winterhall. <laughs> just like, just like eighty pages, like one hundred and thirty pages of <laughs> blanked by Captain Robert Witterall. There's an achievement to just fill them all with Captain Robert Witterall. That's very funny. Just like an obviously very uh, serious, like, cared about development process, and everyone just got knifed by Captain Robert Witterall. <laughs> same, same, like, plot line and everything, but you just slowly figure it out. All right, pixel art. We're, we're treading on spoilers here. We're treading on spoilers here. Okie dokie. So, we got two more corpses in here. This might be the captain. Question mark. Uh, the passengers are his responsibility, so Abigail, yeah, yeah. Your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. Abigail, your brother, I'll my friend. Soon, my so, if this is the captain. Then that guy's name is Robert, and he has a sister Please named Abigail. Forgive me for everything. 
Seems like that's probably the fella. Yep. Captain Robert Witterall was shot by Captain Robert Witterall. Bobby Dubs claims another victim. So far, body count is four. Okay. So how do I speed up the... There we go. Captain Witterall, the only one who could defeat Captain Witterall. The, the fella knows how to defeat enemies, even if he himself considers himself an enemy. Who is this? Well, I know who this is. This? No longer blurred. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, advances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifests, and artist sketches, pages two to four, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were 60 people on the ship. Determining everyone's identity will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities will only be revealed by it through a process of elimination. Good luck. You idiot. Captain Robert Witterell was shot with a gun by... Oh. Okay, so then... Suicide. Gun. This may or may not be correct. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information type set into the book. Okay. So this guy got shot with a gun. This is Robert. Uh, let's go to this. No, I'm remembering Robert Witterall. That's right. Um, let's uh, revisit. Oh. Boy, I'll get the I'll get the controls. It's just gonna take me a second. Uh, I have to open the book. There's there's a lot of um, things. I want to get back to. The end. Okay, so I want to bookmark. Oh, okay. There is a bookmark here. Cool. Uh, so if I go here, I see. It's like uh, keyframes in a video editing software. Let's put a bookmark here. Oh, let's put a bookmark here. So how, how do I put a bookmark in the book? I can't. Or it's automatically bookmarked based on. See if the controls say anything to me. Cannot bookmark. Only on pages with people, okay. But this is bookmarked and this is not. This is the people, this is the... Also, I can't hear. I can't click any of this. Oh, click on the person. Okay. Then we'll go to memories or oh, bookmark memories. Okay. Have <laughs> you tried turning the book off and on again? Okay, person and then memories and then bookmark memories. Okay, I see. Neat. And then you can do it. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back to this one. We're going to look at the memory. Perished. Abigail. Your brother. My friend. I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Okay. So, we're looking for Abigail. 
Hoskett Witterell. So uh, Abigail is the captain's wife, and we're looking for someone with the last name Hoskett. William Hoskett, the first mate. I was right all along. The first mate. I had sufficient information. They didn't trust me. They thought I was stupid. Let me just make sure there's not another uh, Hoskett, though. Okay, no shot that we're down here for another Hoskett. But all right, so we're going to go back up. Who is William Hoskett? This guy. Shot with a gun by Captain Robert Witterell. Great. So I think I've done that correctly, but let's uh, go to our bookmark. William Hoskett, first mate, was shot with a gun by Captain Robert Witterell. Phenomenal. Uh, okay, so these are still blurred, so we don't know who they are. That's some sort of mutiny. And now we're going to get out of this here. Memmy. Four people died in this chapter. And then, what, the other lady was already dead? Is that the idea? She's been dead for a while. And that's our bridge into the next section of the game, perhaps. Martin! So it was raining. <laughs> Got a fellow there. Oh, dude. You came in your fancy clothes, dog. guy. I know your fate, dude. I know your friggin' fate, dude. Um, I have a feeling she's not doing too good. The Doom. I still have more to look at after I get back, but corpses move post mortem. I know who this is. This is Abigail. Oh, Abigail Hoskett Witterell. Guess she is crushed by rigging. Three fates correct. Phenomenal. Hell yeah. So we got that right. Uh <clears throat> I love the sound design in this game, especially when the streamer puts a dub counter song above it. Whoa. Why is my hand so shaky? Okay. Hmm. 
probably the second mate. Falling with a sword. Dude's not too pleased about this situation. She doesn't really have any feelings about it one way or the other, it looks like. She's seen Krakens before. She'll see them again. Oh, the Kraken says, you're not allowed up there. Oh, nice, dude. The friggin' train conductor over here trying to shoot a Kraken with a flintlock pistol. Good luck, buddy. Can't get up there. And this is, yeah, that guy. All right. Um, so we got to find that person's corpse in order to be able to... Oh, space. So space did something like that. I don't know. Face. What exactly? I'm like supposed to do something with this guy? Absorb his soul with my... Oh, I can double up or I don't think I understand and I will have to figure this out um, I just want to do a quick reminder that I'm trying to do this blind and no backseating um, so if I do ask like a, here we go. If I do ask a question like that, assume it is rhetorical. Okay. So I have to, in order to be able to do things, I have to like wait for the proper visual and then it'll allow me to do what I deduce okay those I I believe is the sounds of the thing uh, okay so this is a fella just trying to have a nice drink and he is not having a good go of it this is the uh, oh this is a different guy I haven't seen this guy before. Ah. First emotionally affecting death. Fancy man. Dude, the Kraken is kind of... Okay, so he's throwing him the gun. Nice. Pretty sick, pretty sick. I don't know who this... Oh, I could figure out who this is already, it appears. Uh, anyway, it was... I guess, like, ripped in half, torn apart. There we go. By... Beast. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at... Hmm. Very interesting that I can already know who this is. Let's look at our drawn, our drawn. The fella is Well, I can go back and go straight to the book, so I'm gonna do that instead. Okay, so all right, so there's uh, the ability to go back through another person's within this thing, but uh, first I want to look at you. Look at you in the boat. Okay, so you're... I mean, I assume it's got to be the tattoos that tell me, but... Uh... Hmm. 
I paid a guy $100,000 to let me tear him in two. I can also identify this lady and that lady. Huh. Let me take a look at my memories. I mean, the, it has no... Uh, no names here. I have to imagine this is the... Uh, second mate, but I'm not going to put it in yet. Well, I certainly am confused. Didn't see you over here. I want to look at this person. All right, I guess I can't. the animal out at some point. I wonder if we're going to go below deck and find a thriving society. That's what I think. Throw the powder. Okay. Fell is not going to make it. For a second, I thought that he was falling down in the picture, too. I was like, this guy's arm was falling down! But no, he's, he's on the right there, covered up by my camera. So <clears throat> this person was eaten by a beast. So it would, would appear. I mean, I can't really tell for sure, but it certainly looks like that's some sort of mouth situation. Got a... This person said, I'm going to pull you out with a rope. Don't think that it works out. Hey, what's up, Reen? Okay. 
Okay, can I get by you? Nope. All right, well, the bizarre thing is that this person is not... Um, so I'm going to take a quick look at our list of folks again. Got the bosun, the bosun's mate. I got, got a bunch of passengers, gunner's mate. I guess there's like origin. Maybe there's like a place that n is known for having those tattoos that I am less familiar with. <clears throat> but, uh, All right. Got somebody that got eaten. Let's go find another me memory, I suppose. But if I leave, I I can't. I guess I, I guess I don't have a. Uh... Yeah, Yo, what's going on with this animal, dude? Are you turning? No, that's a that's a goat with its head turned to the side. Okay. Let's zoom in on the goat. You can't zoom in on the goat, dude. Yeah, everybody's buddies on this ship. That That is definitely the takeaway I'm getting from this situation. Okay, so I can go back to that one if I so choose. Now, though, or maybe before, but I believe now I can go down here. Oh, yeah, nothing I could do about that. Move it. Move the thing. Is it... This is a pull door that you're... Just move the towel. Okay, so it's uh, latched from the other side is the only explanation there. Not that it's blocked by a towel. Um... All right, corpses. Zombies be like. All right. <clears throat> Over here. Got ourselves a knife outside of here. This would be the midshipman's Dang. Location for all the midshipmen. Phil's literally too smart for this game. Oh no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I... Tell Pete's mother. Tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. Uh, Pete's mother. Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. Okay, so if this is the person that had the rope, yes, the person who got eaten was Pete. This is the first mate. They're committing their mutiny right now, dog. It's not a good time to commit mutinies, dude. Brennan. So, uh, Brennan is maybe the person who just got killed. Maybe that's Brennan. We aren't sure for sure. It could be any of them. It's a good soundtrack. I'm uh, mucho impressed by the soundtrack. Escape. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, so this is Pete. Who is a midshipman? That seems pretty realistic to me. There's totally in in total there's four midshipmen. Um, you're, if you're not subscribed, you're going to get an ad, and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Um, <clears throat> all right. I'm pretty confident that that is Peter Milroy. However, this could be Brennan. This could be Brennan. This seems like they're trying to be stealthy, so I don't think that's Brennan. Although, actually... This guy is the uh, is the first mate with whom he's committing the uh, thing. So I think one of these is probably Brennan. Um, and to that end, let's take a quick look at our list here and see who Brennan is. One more try. Uh, Henry Brennan, okay. Henry Brennan, seaman. Okay, so Henry Brennan. Wait, I have a death that I didn't write down. Okay, well, I'll do that in a second. Um, they got... Okay, so this has to be Henry Brennan because, well, this one's still blurry. This one isn't, so I'm going to go with Henry Brennan on this one. And then you just died via... I mean, you like bled out, but I don't really know. Specifically... Just expired. Subscription. 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 I don't think it's expired from old age. Duffy, thank you very much for the gift sub. Uh, I mean, I should be able to have the clubbing in there. I guess he has his hand to his ear, so they said, uh, oh, no. Tell Pete's mother, uh, I tried my best to pull him back to save him. You're cut. Okay. Um, I don't really know necessarily with, with what is the thing. I guess he, maybe in the last memory... Uh, I guess I could look a little closer at it, but, um, is this, yeah, okay. So, Maybe knifed, but 
clawed. Could be clawed by a beast, I guess. You're cut. Let's see what, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's tough, tough. We're gonna go clawed by a terrible beast, but um, not confident in it. I don't really want to start going back in time right now, but I might have to. Looks like the both of yous was probably not Scrout, but I we're don't worry. We can always change our answers. It's more of a placeholder than a conclusion. Oh, why are you ringing me around the rosy, dude? Because he was fleeing? you to get your steps in. All right, you got uh, clubbed by Henry Brennan. he probably we'll, we'll see what happened to him in a second it's not this is a fully different time it looks like so he probably got cut in the mutinous battle or whatever <clears throat> got clubbed by Henry Brennan That also helps um, me make sure this is Henry Brennan, which is nice. Munis battle. battle sounds like a Star Wars villain. Okay, can we see the other guys? Is that what we're doing now? Yeah, okay. And what happened to you, my friend? Were you also Henry Brennan? <laughs> Billy Dubs makes a return. If you f find a mutiny and you want to like tell some tell people about the mutiny, maybe you uh, don't sprint away and say mutiny a bunch of times. Maybe you say, "Hey, I gotta go uh, pee," <laughs> and then you tell them about the mutiny. I have a feeling. Uh, This is the fella who just said mutiny, but um, yeah, that would make sense because this fella said mutiny and then the other fella came down. He said, uh-oh, 
Get them. Get them now. And then soon they'll be going in there. Oh, sneaky. Oh, you can't. What? Mutiny. Mutiny. <laughs> Second month of subscriptions. Ain't that just the pizziest pie you've ever seen? I just die. Welcome back for two months. What a pizzy pie that is. Shot with a gun by, I don't know actually who that person is. Just want to see who this is. Oh, it's tough to, tough to see. I'll go to the book. Is this guy? Homie. Oops, I hit space. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to, okay. Cut you off at the pass. Meh. This game is really hard if you're face blind like you. Oh, that stinks. Let them go. Let them go. Okay, I'll let them go. Off the friggin' side of the ship, dude. Oh, shit. She's popping off. Jump down. Okay, you got shot in the chest. Supposedly, I can identify who that is right now. But I uh, wouldn't be able to tell you. Guess let's take a look at the... Uh, that's a human person. I think Phil might be face blind too. Uh, we've got uh, Emily face. But I don't know. I, we don't. Am I supposed to like recognize like no shot? Hmm. I wonder if like. I wonder if there is a uh, uh, connection between like which one you're in and which role you're in. Uh, like this is the passengers and everything because I think most of the crew is here. Uh, did you know Phil was ruthlessly bullied in middle school because his passion for quality pizza ingredients? Let me look at this again. I'm surprised I'm able to tell who those are. I'm trying to think of like what information I have that tells me that. Um, Like, Miss Jane Bird, it could for sure be. Emily Jackson, it could for sure be. Um, I don't know. This guy got shot. 
by another passenger. <clears throat> I'm surprised that they're not blurry. Especially since the first... I think the reason I'm surprised is because the first mate was so obvious to me. Um, it's like, I feel like everybody would know who who the second in command on a ship is called. Um, and that became not... It was not blurry. I don't know. It was strange to me. Uh, so I guess I'll just go with the stuff that's obvious and then we'll start going back. Put it away. I want to zoom in. Okay. Never mind. That's okay. I, I feel like the strategy is to just continue getting as much information as possible rather than obsessing over, like, the information you have. Move quick. Because if you get more information, everything becomes easier. Paul, look out. Okay, so you tried to save Paul. That's Paul. So easy, easy. Uh, I want to get to. Oh, I guess I have to wait for this to zoom. Me when I get stabbed. Damn. Seems like they got away, but we'll see. It's certainly possible that boat got at. My alternate suggestion is to always chase after the identities the game says are difficult so you can feel smug when you get it. Uh, this guy got killed with a sword. Uh, and this is Paul. There you are, first mate's steward, Wales. Okay, so maybe we can use that. John Naples from Wales. We cannot. Okay. I feel like Miss Jane Bird is probably the one with a gun, and Emily Jackson's probably the one on the boat, but uh, who knows? This is the captain. Friggin' Witterals come to play. First mate's here. His other fellas here. 
And then we got uh, the Mutineers. This is the guy that gets shot in the head. This is the Fancy Man who appears to have been slain. And this is the guy who ran away saying mutiny, but didn't get just over here before he did so. They're about, these two are about to go under the deck to try to get that done. Those get away. Captain goes back in there. Then he comes out and kills those three. All right, all right, all right. What are all these people doing? We get to go down below. It's time to not have a corpse in the chair? Dang, they moved it post-mortem, dog. They moved it post-mortem. You've heard of Post Malone. Easy now. You're in a bad way. This is good. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Okay. That, the beast is dead. Good info. How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that does not live for nothing. <coughs> So what, he had a heart attack? Why was his heart beating like that? I mean, he has no left arm, so... I think that's pretty clear that that's the cause of death here, but... <laughs> Why was the heart beating like he was... Okay. So we got ourselves this fella, that fella, and... Someone who has a French assistant. is coming from below deck. Here's the first mate. Coming out of there. Note to self, if I'm ever a captain on a ship, make sure I trust my first mate. Something tells me that's a common mistake. Lost his arm and his hat. He was all dressed up with his arm and his hat on. <laughs> Okay, uh, quickly, we will do a memory. We will bookmark memories in the escape section. Go back here. We're going to take a quick look for, okay, Boson's mate and Boson. So that's probably Af Alfred Klestel. Um, anybody else have a French assistant? Nope. So that is uh, Alfred Klestel. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Alfred Klestel. I mean, he had his arm... like, removed. But we didn't see it happen, really. Uh, I'm say torn apart by a beast. It's not correct, because we have two others, so... We're not going to have that. We're going to go back to unknown. Um, he had his arm ripped off. Uh, I guess we could follow the blood trail. Here? I don't think so. What's up, Jan? Thank you for the hype chat. Big up Alfred Klestel, my G. Captain is going above here. That's the door out. Okay, so the, I mean, I feel like it's very strange to say that, like, 
it happened to him here, but I guess in theory it could be the Kraken. But they're talking about the Kraken like it happened a while ago. Uh, what's up, Pita Bread? Let's take another look at the causes of death that are feasible. Axed, burned, clawed, alive. He could be alive. It's kind of Clawed, cool. clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned, eaten, electrocuted, expired, exploded, fell, froze, illness, killed, knifed, poisoned, shot, speared, spiked, strangled, stuck, struck, suicide, or torn apart. Okay, let's take another look at him. I want to uh, go to... Show memories on deck map. Is that what I want? No. I want. Still haven't quite figured out how to get to like his memories page in the book. I guess it's just this way. It's like put me gar, put me down, let go. You're in a bad way. The squid. Where's my Frenchman? So it's like, I mean, it's really torn apart, right? Like, so maybe, maybe though he was torn apart by a terrible beast, I got something else wrong is another possibility. Um, because I think I had a couple other... Uh, oh, do I not have anything else that's... Hey. Henry Brennan was knifed by Captain nice. Robert Witterell. It's okay, so I have cold. two... Oh, what's up, Morgan? It's kind of warm. Um... Okay, so I really think this is correct. Um... I don't know if having one incorrect will like prevent me. Uh, I know how to go to contents, yeah. Um, it's going to individual memories that is what I'm trying to do. Uh, Clustal and then Paul Moss, first mate steward, was killed by a sword. That's not the one I'm talking about. Henry Brennan... Okay. So one of them is wrong in some way. Let me quickly check to see. I know I need three correct. Um, is Does having one incorrect prevent me from getting three correct and it telling me which three are correct? I guess let's just go to the next one. This will be open. Okay, cool. So then I can just continue until I get something right, and then we will be able to continue and see what we did wrong, which is fine. That's fine with me. So, uh, okay, interesting. Um, seems they got away, so where are we currently? Tough. 
tough to say. Escape is like northwest of the Canary Islands. The end is further to the northeast. They're going back, it appears. Right. So... Whether they're here or at Madeira or Canary Islands or like the close ones. Crazy to have to guess between the two. Um, Which one are we closer to? Maybe that maybe they'll tell me. We're only a quick a quick swim, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll get more information. In the meantime, we're gonna go all of them alive on the Azores, and that way we'll just remember that that's like the people who escaped. Uh, and I will also try, real quick. Oh. Neat. up. <laughs> Nunzio. And Emily Jackson. Damn. Did that just give a clue to who they are? I don't think it did. It opened to the page which I filled out. All right, good to see you, Scrub. See you soon. Put me down. Let go. Oh, yeah, I do this one. Okay. We're in a bad way. This is Squid. Where is my Frenchman? Squid's gone. Squid. Where is my Frenchman? Okay, so... I guess I leave now. I'm, I'm within a memory, within a memory. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm, now I'm back to the regular mode, but I can go down here again. And by again, I mean for the first time. I can start another little, uh, little thing. Little memory chain down here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. The bull skull. Petter here. One swing. Get true to skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. All right. Okay, Charlie. Is it the only Charles? Uh, two Charles midshipmen. 
Did not sound like he had a French accent, but I'm going to go midshipman. Especially since he is not near the bosun. Charles Hurstick. I want to listen to the dialogue again, but it's all right. Looks like the cook to me, right? Dude's about to give me a quest to find five silver rings across the continent. Ten others were present. Location of the corpse, it's just a cow. First, I want to look at you. Months. Welcome back for 17 months, Digital Carp. Good to have you. Okay, passengers, specifically y'all, are the from Morrison royalty. By the cow. Call Taiwan now. I didn't know that. How'd you die, my friend? Bitter cold, perhaps? Go! I see why eight and a half hours also is going to be pretty consistent because so much of it's just going through the memories. Same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Mm. Not a consumption. <coughs> Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <coughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. It's kind of cold. <laughs> <laughs> gotta give him laudanum, dude. You just gotta give him some laudanum. Body. So I guess this is the doctor. No, this is the doctor. And this is a fella. I mean, this guy looks like he'd be. I guess he's a mate. So this is the doc.
Surgeon or the surgeon's mate? Is the surgeon's mate? Feasible? We'll call it for now. Put you at second mate for now, Edward Nichols. Hmm. Okay, so they got uh, illness. It was a tragic illness, apparently, also. Those guys know what they like, and they like standing and sitting there. Just like the other one he said also. So I guess this guy's also dead from the illness. Denon. Why is the can character's hand so shaky? That's when you're in the, oh. Okay, we got some Cyrillic. Sayed. Sayed. Sayed is. Sayed is. Looks like Syed just died in his sleep of an illness. Pretty damn. There we go. And we got, uh, Fellas, hmm. Okay, so there's four others from India. Look at this. Stop your cheating, worry about yourself. And y'all also died to a tragic illness. All right, so we got three more correct. Plestal was torn apart by a terrible beast. Nice. Sayed so succumbed to a tragic illness. And that is Henry Brennan. However, we were not correct about one other one. And that would be this, nope, because this is uh, unknown attacker. Strange that Paul Moss would not be in on the uh, thing, though. Anyway, that's okay. 
Is that what we're trying to solve right now? This is what, this chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. <laughs> okay, so Peter Milroy was not devoured by a terrible beast. Uh, let me check to see if I missed another Pete. There's a Peter Milroy. Huh. There is a problem, detective. Take a quick look at Peter's situation. Memories. Uh, actually, let's go get to the main bit quick. Hold on, throw the powder. That's not the one I want to see. I want to see the first memory, I guess. Why did I think his name is Pete? Oh, tell Pete that I tried to save him is the reason that I thought it was. Uh, and that was... <laughs> Uh, the pages are getting filled out, dude. Um, that's the guy who... That was this one. Okay, so tell Pete's mother I tried my best to pull, her, pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. Okay, so we're we're also going to check to see if Pete's mother is on the ship. Um, so first thing first, I'm going to check for that. Pete, where's Pete? Milroy. Are there any other Milroys on the ship? Just to just to make sure. There's not. Okay. You never know with like a you tell her yourself type situation. Um tried to pull him back. I mean it looks like a mouth to me, but we're gonna go with uh, torn apart by a terrible beast. Well, I guess we can't. We'll we'll leave it at torn apart for a little bit. I guess let's. Uh, I can't re, re. I have to go back to it. Oof. Okay. Can't remember memories from here. I have to go back to the site of the memory to look at it again. All right. So. So yeah, I'd got the illness, um, and we got this fella over here. Let me take a quick look at my map. The ship. Okay, so I am right here. Okay, so midshipman are here. Okay. All right, we'll just, uh, I guess, move on with Seems relevant to me, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what that is. I guess I got to get some water. One sec, Tora.
news, Tora? Okay. Suppose that means we are all set here. Um, out we go. A bitter cold. So, can I go further in the ship than I could before? Or did I miss is one of those two? Like, not. My brain's starting to get kind of full. It's um. Cold. This is Syed. This is Syed. This is the other guy. And the other one's the cow. You can change the colors of the game and the options. That's funny. Do we like the green better? I think I like the... What's LCD look like? LCD looks kind of cool. I always did enjoy LCD screens. But I think I, I think because simply because I'm used to the Macintosh one, I'm going to do the Macintosh. For, for, the, for the sole reason that I'm used to it. stuff so I'm, let me go back down there and try to interact with stuff now no I won't Chaco because I'm not gonna use it Surgeries across the off across the way. Damn ghost closing the doors behind you. Seriously. Let me walk around. Interesting. Anything of value to be seen through these? Perhaps? something of value back here. Quite the location to die. something. Alright, so he got shot through the wall, it looks like.
Interesting. Soldiers of the Sea. In the Port Walk. They make for the Lazarette. Is he supposed to be easy? No, he's three. Okay. Got shot. I think by a gun? Let me let me let me just put shot for now and then I can't. I have to choose. Okay, I'm gonna put uh I'm gonna put shot with a cannon. I can't tell if they use the cannon or a gun, because I didn't look at it that closely. Looks like gun. So let's shot with a gun by can't see it. Currently cannot open doors. Who are you? Ah, is that the bosun? I can't tell. Come on down. Looks like the chef is going to be the next person I know about how he died. Looks like he got got by spikes. What I will say, I'm enjoying the game. Got good vibes. Feels very uh, cohesive. Gotcha. I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Oh. He's got spikes in him. So this is gonna be our next fella. That looks like we know who that fella is. I remember that was... The bosun killed this thing with a friggin' Who had the gun, though? Was it you? No, you have a sword in you. I'm looking for the gun. Was it you? Is this the gun that was used? It doesn't look like it. Uh, I guess it has a trigger on it. It's like a little weird gun, but... Oh, shit, I didn't even really pay attention to what happened to him. Okay, that's all right. I think that's the cook. Um, and I believe he was probably spiked by a terrible beast um, based on the spikes. Um, and this is Alfred Klestel. So I'm going to say that... I want to just like go back to the last memory rather than like go through all of this. Let me take a quick look and see. If I can find the person that got shot by a stranger. This I think we're going to say Alfred Klestel. I don't know if that's true. But we're going to put it there for now. It was whoever shot the gun like this way. So he's in the wrong spot for it, but it's been a few moments, so... I'm 
not sure. Anyway. So you, my friend, are next. More like who gun it. <laughs> Got me, dude. Oh my god. The runaround. Let's do it then. What is happening to you? I guess you're getting spiked? But like... Damn. There's Clestal with a gun. Yeah, so Clestal comes over here, shoots with a gun from here. He's gonna kill the guy through the wall there. Clestal... Shipman was spiked. Let's just see if there's. An, I guess it could be speared. No, okay, spiked. Is that fire though? I mean, it's I. It looks like fire, but who would be dumb enough to light a fire on a? I guess that's what the water is for. And the next shot. Also, like, how do you know whether he died from burning or from the spike that's clearly through him? Um. So I guess they threw oil on him, and then they're stabbing it, and they're fucking spiking him, and... Who are you guys? Okay, so there's this guy with a gun, and the uh, first mate as well. We have uh, a couple other fellas out here. This looks like I've named this guy, right? It's the surgeon's mate, yeah. But that doesn't seem possible. He was sitting in the room with the... I guess this is chapter, like, some other chapter. I don't know. We'll see. Taking a look at these... These two fellas' deaths. All right, all right, all right. It's like, how much of this game, I wonder, is going through to the end and then coming back? I feel like everything should get easier as you learn more, but... Um, it could also be that there's just so much information that you just have to do everything again to like sift through it. <laughs> Learning to play the game is like... Okay, burn it. Okay, so this thing is a 
Looks like a humanoid on top of a spider leg. They are being like pincered by the beast. moves dude nice and calm look at that face he's like take that all right surgeon's mate maybe was I guess, like, strangled? I mean, it doesn't seem to be strangled. It's, like, clawed, really. What, they are, like, choking them, but... I think to say that they're... Strangled would be wrong when they're bleeding, too. Would strangled be, like, would it give me something? Strangled by a beast? No, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go clawed in the meantime. I mean, it's attacked by the claw. Um, it could be that they got choked out. Here's the lantern. And here's, is this the guy I said burned? Now this is Peter Milroy, torn apart by a terrible beast. We're gonna go with, we're gonna go with Claude for Peter Milroy, since that's the, no, he, he was, he survived this to later get friggin' got by the Kraken, dude. Okay, we're going back to Devoured for this. I know it's not correct, but like... By an enemy. For an enemy, okay. So we gotta... Is this the guy that I... Clawed by a terrible beast. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Shit's wacky. There's a lot going on. First mate is shooting another one that's coming down from above. Got uh, this fella. Trying to do something from the back. We got, uh, this guy got spiked, but I can't put it in yet because I don't have the memory. That might be where I'm going though, so it is. Is there another one below that I can go to? Is the question. Are there multiple paths? No. Okay, good. That would really start to throw some throw some obfuscation in the mix this guy's got been spiked So Nick is already dead. Come on, boss. No, get there. Hey, cat. Ah! 
Hey, catch. So this thing is like, can talk? And say, hey, catch? Oh, that sucks for this guy. This guy's been spiked. This guy's also been spiked, most likely. Oh no, okay, so he threw an ax at him. Yeah, I mean, I get it, dude. I think he might have been spiked. <laughs> this one I'm relatively confident in. However, the name of them is a little tougher. Been spiked, my friend. Um, I guess it doesn't tell me uh, what language uh, I would have maybe guessed Welsh Maybe I could see this being uh Winston and Marcus. Definitely seemed like he had an American accent. But I'd probably have to watch it again. To know this for sure. I want to look at this. Stay back. It's already done for Nick. Can I re-listen to it without... Is there a way to re-listen to it? Or do I have to, like, play the whole thing again? Here they come. No, I'd rather try to figure it out, Lobster. Appreciate you asking, though. All right. I mean, this is also speared, but it could be, like, spiked. This, I would describe this as being speared, but... Um, that one fella Henry Brennan right or is that the other guy brains brains full of full of faces and people in 
theory, I should be able to name this person. Uh, I'm going to guess Nicholas Botterill, because it said I already got Nick. We're going to go with Spiked. All right. So that was being spiked. Nicholas Botterill was spiked by a terrible beast. James Wallace is the surgeon's maid, and it was clawed by a terrible beast. Nice that I got that. And Charles Hirschdick burnt to death. Another three in the bag. Um, nice, okay. Weird little eyes he got there. Hmm. Wonder who I'm supposed to select. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, the wind is alive up here. Okay, so we got a, uh, this guy. Well, I'm supposed to know who this is still. It would, appear, it would appear that someone has been lightninged. Poor guy. <laughs> okay, so this is Chava. <laughs> What's up, mate, guys? How you doing? All right. Well, I think we've... made some progress here. Can't look at this guy, though. I'll say maybe I can... Maybe I can from over here. Good bells, right? Very good bells. Um, I guess electrocuted. Is that what you call it when you're struck by lightning, though? I guess. Isn't electrocuted very specifically you're like the center of a current? Like for a long period? I guess, I guess it would be. I guess you're still the center of a current for a very short period of time. Uh, and that, of course, is uh, William Wasim. I have no idea who this is. Um, I'm actually going to go to the back real quick and see if it tells me what the difference between a topman and a seaman is. It sure does. hate that I had to say that on Twitch.tv, as I expect... <laughs> Higher rated, uh, work above the deck in the sails and rigging. Yeah, okay. Okay, so these are these are topmen. Which is probably smart to know.
So I only have to pick between nine, ten topmen. Well, I would I would guess that he's probably Chinese. What did the, uh, what was the memory? Okay, here we are. The wind is alive. Uh, one of the top men had a had a. Okay, let me take a quick look. Yeah, there's no Americans who are, are top men. Um, Timothy Butemont was was giving instructions in this. I wonder if that's Timothy Butemont, Scottish. If this is the Timothy. That could be Timothy. Hard to say. He looks kind of relaxed and he looks like he's yelling maybe, but he's also like just grabbing it, you know? Between the two, which one I believe is Scottish? Probably this one. Um, ah, okay, so we got to zoom on him. Hard to tell what's going on with this fella. Um, and we know how you died, so if we're correct, we'll learn sooner. And then for you, why can we only once in a while see you? There we go. For some reason, that's the right angle. Okay, fine. Fine. One, two, three. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, maybe that's Timothy. He's screaming and he's climbing. you're screaming you you seem not like a leader to me you seem like you probably yelled this uh you died from a gun were you the guy that died in the port there I don't know. Let's click that and just see if we, like, okay. I'm gonna take that off for a sec because I don't think that's right. Uh, but uh, I wanna see your memory. Escape part three. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I see, I see when you died, okay. Interesting, 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 interesting stuff. Neat, neat, neat. And 
phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Unless you're... No. I think it's probably that guy. Um, could not be. Could be wrong. But... What's up, Tactical Whiskey? Oh, is that what that is? I thought that was, like, a specific person, not, like... I thought that there was, like, one person on the... These are, like, these are all unknown topmen. Okay, I see. I, I, I just assumed there was, like, a few unknown people on the, uh, uh, on the ship. I'm going to do this anyway because you guys are top men, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that you guys are top men. And I've already, like, said that you're electrocuted. I'm going to guess for him in the meantime. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to get that right. Uh, in the meantime, we have to learn somebody else's name, but we're going to guess in the meantime, and then that way, if we're right, we lucked out. If not, oh well. Okay. All right, we solved it. Let's leave. <laughs> Okay, so I can go up there now, maybe? Is like a new thing I can do? Usually when you don't have a connected memory, you unlock a new area you can get to. But maybe this is just saying that like I need to solve some stuff before I continue on. Or maybe I've just missed some stuff. All feasible. These are the mate's cabins, right? Do, 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 do. No. Okay, so the bosun's... This is the bosun. Okay. This is the bosun... Bosunante? Bos... Bosuniet. Bosuniet. Okay. Take another look at this memory here and see if I could tell through the wall who shot the gun because I don't think I was confident in this one. It's this shot. Yeah, okay. So that is being shot through the wall by the bosun. That's the bosun. He's got that weird little short gun thing. Wait, this... No, 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 no. This guy's the bosun. That's Alfred Klestel. So who's this guy? I need to find out who the shirtless guy in the next memory is. I 
And then part seven of eight of chapter six is where... Oh, I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Oh, oh. Can't tell if this guy's... Hey, looks like he thanks doesn't. for watching the Phil Jamison stream. Did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account and receive Prime Gaming for free? It's true, and with Prime Gaming, you can subscribe every month to this channel for free. It supports the channel, and you also get all the benefits of a tier one sub. So I'd love if you use it on me. But if you don't use it on me, use it on somebody. Uh, but use, use it on me. Thank you. Okay, you were not shot by Alfred Klestel. You were shot Please. by an unknown... I think probably Seaman, but... I want to now leave this memory, which is a door. Here it is. Okay. Okay. So I prevented a failure there, but it didn't. It didn't add anything because I don't know who that fella is. So. Can I? I can't go down here yet. Yep. He's trying to open it. Oh. No, this is... What the heck? No, I don't want to... I didn't click that shit. What are you talking about, dude? Get me out of here. Yuck. My back's to you. I turned my back to you. Chef. Chef thinks I want to see his friggin' death again. No thanks, buddy. A boring, not a box office smash. It's actually a pretty cool death. <clears throat> when the chef's right about his death, you gotta give it to him, you know? You gotta admit when he's got a friggin' pretty sick death. Was that? Did I... Oh, it's the cow skull. Okay. Okay. Then let's go down another flight of stairs. Have I been down here? I don't know as I have. As a matter of fact, I am pretty sure I haven't. Let's see what the body over here is. Da -da. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. Yeah. What madness is this? Twenty years, my steward, and never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Mm. Throw them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, okay. John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? Okay, so the... Here's a person about to tie somebody up. This is the steward. I'm going to quickly indicate that this is a steward. Feels like maybe it's Paul Moss, actually. Although he's watching them. Boy, 
boy, this one, this one's got a lot of folks in it. One wonders who the uh, body that's being held up in the painting is also, or in the drawing is. On the cargo deck. Okay, let's just reread this. Okay, so this is part four, or sorry, part five on Holy Captives. So we've already had, no, we haven't with those things. So the soldiers of the sea, right? Yeah, it's the next step. supposed to be very easy to indicate who this is. I couldn't really tell who was talking is the thing. Okay, keep pressure here. Hold them down. What madness is this? 20 years, my steward, never down on your sanity. I think he's talking to the guy that's just off. Because the they were about to tie the guy up that was over on the side. Um, uh... I want to look at this again. It does seem like this guy could have been a steward for 20 years for sure. Um, based physically. Um... Specifically, the stewards are, well, it does, it seems like he has said something in Welsh there, Ir, like, era, I guess it could be um, Gaelic. Let's take a quick look at these fellas. Um, okay, so we have in the room we have Clestal, we have the captain, and we have the first mate. It's got to be Swedish. Okay. So... He, like, cut this guy's leg off? Question mark? What the heck? What are you doing that for, homie? Keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is? 20 years, my steward, and never doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. It was ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. All right. Uh, I guess we're just going to go to the next memory, see if that solves it. Oh, I didn't even look up here. Interesting. I probably want to go back to this one. A lot of stuff's happening. Let's 
Seems like there were a lot of events that occurred on this boat. What do you guys think? I guess I'll follow it rather than short. Do the shortcut. So funny. Send you all around town. Dead dead. Nothing happened on this boat. Didn't know what you mean. <laughs> I disagree, personally. Oh boy. This guy got crushed. seems to be in a lot of places. This poor guy. First couple deaths, they'd say, fuck it, and turn around and go back home. Well, they definitely did uh, turn around and go back home. Um, I don't know if they've done it yet. I'm not entirely sure who this is, uh, but you did get crushed by, I guess, I guess, cargo. Not falling cargo. Is there something better? Fell on the stairs. I guess is also kind of true. Um, we're going to go fell down the stairs because that's like the closest. And did we have a good guess about this person? No, I don't think we do. Fell down the stairs. Okay, okay. You've got a hammer coming out of the carpenter. Okay, so you are the carpenter for sure. And that makes you Marcus a carpenter mate. I'm going to in the meantime I'm going to put uh spike because I saw a spike right in front of your face. But uh or I can't. I can't do that. I have to find his body or whatever. This next one will be three complete ones if I get a complete one out of this. Dun dun. this guy I 
guess maybe he's the cook? I thought I already got the cook right. Maybe I didn't get him right. Maybe I just assumed I did. Um, got like, I don't know, dude. Got like friggin... <laughs> like, I guess Claude? It's like a thing that after it's dead can still do a do a move on you. <laughs> it has it has graveyard recursion. Okay, is there like a Okay, there's a cook's assistant maybe. No. Oh, butcher, okay. I mean, whether he's I guess this could be the butcher if I didn't get this right. Question mark. Uh, show memories on deck map. But it, see, it seemed like he definitely had a uh, Irish accent. I want to just make sure I got the. Okay, so I didn't necessarily get this right. This could easily be the butcher, and the other guy could be the cook. Uh, no, nope. I don't want that. I don't want that. Ugh, it's back. Okay. Gotcha. That's not what I want. I want you. I want the memory you're in. Um, I want this memory. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, fry us a solid meal, boys. I I guess it's possible that the butcher could also, like, do some cooking. But I think it's probably more likely that you're Thomas Sefton and you're Emile Farrell. I mean, the, the accents certainly didn't seem that way. And, like, what is this... Is this clawed? Is this is this spiked? Is this uppercut by a corpse? Is this shelled? Clubbed? Spiked, I guess. Struck? Struck by a tail, maybe? I guess it could be like a tail. A beast. Hey! It's the tail. Hey! We got him right! We guessed for the Topman! The Topman coming through, dude. The Topman's coming through, dude. The electrocuted Topman. Rigged. Get it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got a dub counter that one. Hell yeah. Pretty good, dude. Pretty friggin' good, dude. We are going to pause the game here. I'm going to use the restroom. And I will, uh, I guess I'll run an ad for those who are not uh, subscribed. Um, I'll see you in just a couple minutes. See you, Catch Punk. Good to see you.
myself some seltzer. I think it's very funny that I got Huang Li right. Literally just picking number one of four. All right. We're back. Get my little headphones on. And folks, we're back, and we're better than ever. We'll have a gummy bear. Uh, all right, chat. Time to guess what color this gummy bear I just picked up is. First one to guess it wins. Emo Dweebo, instant. Well, not quite an instant dub. Peter made the first guess. It is green. So quick. Okay, so the tail of this beast is very strong, very powerful. steward oh no what's all this then guess we're about to find out People died on every friggin' square inch of this ship, dude. Oh, what's all this, dude? <laughs> what the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is me. He talked about a shell. Very good Shell? What shell? <laughs> Yo! Look like he's dancing, dude. Um... Spiked.
Oh, uh, the guy behind him also got got. Okay, you got spiked. And you were okay. Fine. Um, you also got spiked. Let me just see and make sure that's right. Uh, lift it out and take it below. This is your fault. The shell must be protected. We will all die. I think the X means uh, the person who died, maybe. I want to look again. Is this... Okay, you died... Oops, I hit space trying to jump. Uh, damn, okay. Okay, so I guess this next death was how they acquired the loot to begin with. I can uh, certainly see why this game can only be played once. Interesting. Um, I've already written my ads. I'm going to do try anyways. It's a passenger, right? Yeah, one of these guys. Um, I'm going to use, same as I did before, I'm going to just pick the first of them. Um because I need a placeholder for you. Okay, so he shot him because he's aware of how this tail and like the stuff is gonna kill everybody seems to be the case here. And you can't see who you are. I have to walk around. Daniel Radcliffe? Oh no. Okay. He was shot by somebody, one of the Formosans. Shot gun by, we're going to just, I guess this, if we pick a different person, <clears throat> our chances of being correct go up. Uh, but I guess we need to figure out who that is first. 
Let me just make sure that I'm not crazy. Yep, that's one of them. One of the Formosan royalty. I see. So the sparkly thing that I saw was one of these shells. That's funny. It's like the first thing I noticed, too. I didn't even see his body in the boat, dude. like and this is like is that fire it's hard to tell looks like maybe the box has fire in it uh miss lim Okay, so we have a pretty good shot of identifying our next victim. Uh, okay, so try anyways. Slim. Huh. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's because I crossed it, the other one out uh, with with somebody else. Okay, so you could be any of these three. We're gonna go with. We're gonna actually make you this. This will increase our chances. And we don't really know how you got killed. Uh, you were just dying on the boat. I guess your your arms are maybe like on fire, but it doesn't seem too realistic that you burned to death because otherwise the whole boat would burn. So let's see what our options are again. I guess we could put burned for now. Yeah, I don't think there's a better option. So we're gonna put burn for now and we do know who you are going to be. So we might need to turn someone else not into this person. Reaching in there. He's 
he got, this is another fella who got stabbed or something. Uh, and there's all kinds of fellas in here. You got friggin' harpooned. Where is Miss Lim, though, dog? Oh, there you are, Miss Lim. So you got... What happened to you? I don't think you've moved from that last image. I think it's reasonable to guess that you got speared, but... Definitely a guess. I do know who you are, though. Guess we'll go s spiked for now. Um... And then you were not shot. Well, I guess it could be. It's, we don't know. If this is right, then the next one's wrong. Um, I guess. I guess for the sake of consistency, rather than the sake of trying to get the most right, since that's not full, we want to change. You and right, okay. Um Burned to death is maybe right. Spiked by a terrible beast feels very much like I'm just strictly guessing here. We've got maybe a puncture wound on the on the belly there. Maybe claw marks. Do you have claws? Do you have claws? I'm gonna switch you over to Claude. That's right, baby. Got him! Got him! Tell me I don't have enough information to identify who is who. My homie, I don't need it. I do not need it, my dude. All right. <clears throat> so, real quick, what we're going to do... Uh, not dock plans, or deck plans, rather. We're going to go to Formos Formos and Royalty. And, of course, I have enough sufficient information because there's only four people from Formosa. Therefore, that is who you are. Um, real quick, before we leave this situation, we're going to go back to that and make sure I've indicated that the person was shot by the correct person. Correct. Okay. Happy Halloween, everyone, yes. Decided to play a little bit of a spooky game. Oh, Hagen, you're still breathing? Can you roll? Oh, Hagen. Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake. And Nichols. Ah! <laughs> Nichols, sir. Hmm. Appears he's killing him. Oh, she got, uh... Claude slash Eaton. Hey, there's the glow I was talking about. Oh, 
Oh, Hagen, can you row? Shoot them for God's sake. Okay, we got a very weird situation going on here. Not normal. I don't know who it was asking me about. Oh, Hagen, you still breathing. Can you row? Nichols, can you shoot them? Um, let's take a, another look at what we got here. This is not the guy they're asking about. This is is the guy they're asking about. So let's take a look at it. Is there an X? Okay, oh, Hagen, you still breathing. Can you row? You s Was it a male voice or a female voice that said help? Can someone just remind me? All right, Emo Dweebo. Good to see you, bud. Happy Halloween. I'd rather not, like, restart the memory, but... In the meantime, I will say that you were... Killed. I don't know how. Is that a knife? He's in the rowing position, but he's dying. On the other hand, he's also in the rowing position. Praetor, welcome back for 17 months. Okay, this is unknown. They died by being, I don't know, I guess maybe drowned by it. It bang sha. Is that who that is? I did it so quickly that I actually forgot who's who. Chiotan's the guard, right? Why can I not look at him? There we go. Yeah. And... Okay, so the dialogue said... Oh, hey, again, you still breathing? Can you, can you row? Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake. So, I wonder if it was all the same people that was saying that. I wonder, that might be O'Hagan over there. And this is Nichols. Okay, this is Nichols for sure. Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake. Uh... Where you at, Nichols? You wearing a fancy hat and you're not shooting the people when they're trying to kill your kill your folks. Nichols. That's the second mate. Hmm. Which means Where did I put you, Nichols? 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 Put 
Captain goes down with the ship, dude. Okay, let's just go to our... Instead, let's just go to our picture. Look at you. That's Nichols, which means first, second. It's got to be the third mate, question mark. We'll call it. He's got the he's got the fanciest hat. He's got the second fanciest hat. They've got, I think, equally fancy hats. But there's nobody. Oh wait, this is this is going to be one of them, right? That's the other officer because of the hat, hat brigade. Clubbed by Henry Brennan. Let's just uh, call you the fourth mate for now. Could be the third mate, could be the fourth mate. Who knows? Uh, meanwhile... Shoot them for God's sake. But he's panicking. Uh, this is O'Hagan, right? That's what we're saying. Also, who's the... Might be one of them. Might be the steward. Uh, but let's go for the O'Hagan here. Patrick O'Hagan. Decent shot. I don't know who you are. You got speared, my friend. What? What? Keep rowing! Where is it? Where? Something there! I see it! Give us a weapon! Shoot it! Mike and I! Pick up the oars and row, you fools! Alright. Definitely got speared by a beast. Um, this fella's being drowned by a beast. Slash clawed by a beast. We can see the claws as well. Aha! He was tied up. They were both tied up because they'd already tried to do some crazy stuff. And... Friggin' officers, like. Popping off, dude. So we got a spear and a claw slash drown. And looks like another spear here. Who oh boy, what a week, that guy. All right, this soul has been speared by a beast. Mother of God, keep rowing. Give us a weapon. I would have gotten the names by here anyway, so... I guess two of the four. I got three of the four. Actually, I got all four of the four. But uh, pick up the oars and row, you fools. Okay, so we got an unknown soul who was speared by a terrible beast. We got uh, another fella who we're just going to... I mean, that... I, oh, we can't say how he died. We're about to see how he died. Um...
So where are you on the map? These are probably the... Guess not. I wonder. I do wonder where these fellas' mates are. She's solved. Um, the thing is, this could be O'Hagan, but that could also be O'Hagan. Um, no, he sees him getting speared. He sees him getting grabbed. Nobody would think he's still alive. Uh, no shot. Okay. Oh, wow, we don't get to look at that fella at all? All right. This guy seems to have a spear in him, so we'll take a look at this guy's spear death. Canaries in three days. Aye, sir. Checked and loaded on myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! Be one Written word, welcome back for two months. They knew about the monsters, dude. They came prepped and knew about the monsters, no less. She's not too happy about it. All right, let's get the fade out so I can say he is speared. I'm surprised I can't uh, identify that guy's corpse though. This MF said green aim. Beard by a beast. Keep course due east, canaries in three days. Uh, we'll, we'll say that the other guys escaped to the canaries and see if that helps, and then we'll switch them around and see if that also helps. Real quick. Zoop. 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 Okay, that's not helpful. What the heck? I didn't say you guys were officers. Switch this around now. Incorrect, but that's okay. Um, probably gonna have to revisit a lot of this stuff. That's okay.
pretty uh, lethal trip there. Uh, two wayward souls disappeared during the events. Um, their fates are cataloged here. So he's the one that got drowned by a beast. I guess it was also clawed by a beast. Um, was he or was he the guy that got speared? Why did it wait until... It's kind of cold. <laughs> Why did it wait until I can't go back and look at them? It's kind of warm. Hey. I think... Hey. Maybe that. Oh, what's up, Linguini Genie and Praetor? How are you doing? It's kind of cold. I think that was what was going on. I'm just gonna go back. Body. Very cool uh, mechanics in this game. Okay, so this is the guy that got speared, and this is the other guy that got speared, and that's... Yes, okay, that guy's speared, and this guy got drowned. Great. In theory... I shut it off. This is strange. I don't know. That is. So we're gonna we're gonna leave those because I think that's my best guesses. We'll see what uh, else we find very soon. Kiss. What's up? Uh, no amped. No amount. Good little, uh, good little tunes they got going on in here. On your toes. Slack the lifts and lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. Give it up. Some stuff going on, guys. Okay, so this is Huh. One of the mates shooting that guy. This is Miss Lim. <laughs> Murder. The chest. Um, who is this? They died by being shot. The gun by one of the mates. I think I currently have that listed as the third mate. No, no, the second mate. The second mate. Shot by Nichols. 
No, that's not Nichols. Nichols is the coward. I think I have it listed as the third mate. Let me look at my little map. It's this guy. It is Nichols. Okay. It's the coward. You've been shot by the coward. Edward Nichols. On your toes, boys. How can you do this? Load her up. We best push off. Let me go. Give her here, will ya? Captain. Slack. Captain. Where's the captain? Maybe he just yelled, Captain. Captain! This is, this is before a bitter cold? How are they getting off the, I guess they just keep. Going out? I am right. I I follow that, Bren. But my point is, uh, again, I don't want to like get into a conversation because I'm afraid if I talk to you about it, you're gonna accidentally reveal something. But like, they're getting off of a boat where it seems like they are coming back from the open sea, which is why I was confused. That's my thought process. Okay, this is this is good. Who would they hang, and why? Unless this is a second, um, killer. Mm. You have been found guilty there by confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. The picture. When you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. And that's why you can't highlight him because he's already there. The artist would be somewhere, dude. Oh, okay. That's it? That's all I get? I'm just going to try to remember his face because this is the only time I can think I'm going to get to see it and be confident it's him. Well, actually, no, I'm not 100% sure it's him now. really helps identifying who's the captain. Bottom. Was 
uh, not executed. Hung was uh, strangled, I guess, right? <laughs> that seems insane. Okay, alive, axe, burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned. Oh, sh firing line, what am I talking about? Uh, but I guess that's not really like... Um, because you can't indicate there's only one, um, I guess maybe is, is there only one bullet actually going through him? Yeah. It's Henry Brennan, right? These dudes can't aim. Three more fates, correct. Who else do we get? Edward Nichols, nice. Pretty easy. And we got that John Davies was the fourth mate, so we know that that other guy's the third mate. Henry was the last person you got. I almost didn't get him. All right. Dude, this guy's fading out of existence. Somebody better uh, get his parents to kiss at the winter formal, dude. So I just want to confirm, you are now confirmed as third mate. Very good. Is there any more info I can get from here that is like easy? You're probably, eh, whatever. I can always do that. I was going to say that he's probably the bosun's assistant. This guy keeps showing up. But, uh, whatever. We're going to move on to our next clue here, which is uh, the death of Nunzia. This is Nunzia, right? Or maybe Nunzia. Hello. Yes. Yeah, Who is you. there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Ah, Nunzio, he's a sweet boy. Is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, hello. Yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Oh, Nichols. What? What's your step? Here. Let me help you. Nichols, you're killing Nunzio? 
Just like that, my dude? Oh, Nichols. How could you? Pinning it on the dude over the friggin' thing in the chest. Oh, Nichols. You rapscallion, Nichols. This dude's a friggin' rapscallion. Killing Nunzio over. Over what? A sh some shell? Some sort of shell? Um, I don't really think of it. Uh, he's, you know, more of the same from him. Was, I guess, bludgeoned? Was like... Torn apart. Struck. No. I mean, I guess we didn't really see how he died here. I just want to... Just want to get a... Is there like a knife in there? In his hand? It looks like he's just punching him in the belly, you know? There's a little... Uh... I guess it's got to be a knife, right? Uh... Knifed by Edward Nichols. Um, yeah, let's not uh, make threats in my chat, Hamri. Murder! Okay, so that is confirmed. On your toes, boys. Okay, all right. So, hmm. Turns out Nichols, also not a great guy. Okay. There's that guy. Still got that thing over there. Can I see it? Can't do anything with it. Not that I really should want to, but make sure I didn't miss anything out here. Cool. Will I be doing a tier list of people aboard this ship? I don't think I will, actually. Okay, this is whose room? It's not the captain's anymore. Passenger cabins are on the sides here. Okay. Didn't realize how many different orders you could do it until you watch somebody else play it. Yeah, it definitely seems like, um, depending on the, like, ones you get, you're gonna be able to like quickly solve like getting Henry Brennan for instance is allows me to like solve a few of them. Um
Just make sure I'm not missing any like small items because I didn't really know. Nickel's S tier for sucks. Yeah, it looks like something happened here. Wish the door didn't just like keep doing that. I guess this is probably where the fellas came in. The crab fellas. Did we do this? Seems like maybe we didn't. Didn't find his footing. Already a dead person down there. That face when your friend gets crushed by a loose cannon on the Obra Din. Impact font. Uh, so that's the uh, bosun, right? No, that's the uh, mate. This is. I just, I just, when in doubt, I just call them the bosun. <laughs> you're never gonna sound like you're, you're unlearned if you call everyone a bosun. The doom. Okay, so the doom is like. Kraken thing. This guy got crushed by a cannon. Poor fella. Oh, we're not even going to see this guy yet? Or is that... I don't know. Damn, that would suck. I wouldn't like to get crushed by a loose cannon. Personally. Ooh, someone got decapitated. What a treat! <laughs> Ship's very eventful. Almost as though we're cursed. Is there anything you would be preferred to crush prefer, prefer to be crushed by over a cannon? Um just the Star Wars walls. Oh no! Oh no, dude! I mean, just real quick, I just want you guys to take a moment to appreciate it. Like, look at that, like, blur of pixels. Um, that is, just, that's, I mean, that's great stuff right there. Kudos. Um, he got his head shot off by a cannon. And he had a fancy hat. Stinks. Um, it's cold. Here's the... This guy. Uh, so who is the gunner, though, is the question. Is it this guy? He's got a torch. I feel like the, I could have found the gunner in the last scene. No, because they said sir to the officer. Um. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, I didn't see this guy, how he died. Um, I guess maybe this guy's the gunner, but shot with a cannon by himself. Oh wait, no, 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 we, okay. So the guy with the fuse is the guy that killed him. And then, where's the other fella that died? That? Okay. Crushed by a cannon. A 
I thought we were just talking about you. Someone died somewhere like else? It just keeps going? Um, ugh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to get out of here. I don't... Can I cancel this? Ugh. It showed me two corpses, though, um, Nathan. On the last one. Showed me like two bodies to show to attach fates to. Okay, so the Kraken's doing it. You got crushed. Are you the hat man? Okay, so you're the gunner. You're probably the gunner's assistant. Okay, so there was another corpse behind him, I guess. That I just didn't see in that last one because it was so cluttered. Okay, so that's crushed. Both of those are shot by a cannon by, I guess, a beast, right? Is the actual answer. <laughs> I guess a beast shoots them with a kraken. Or, or, or a beast shoots them with a cannon. Okay, you got crushed. By a cannon. Um, and then you got blasted by a cannon by a terrible beast. You got blasted by a cannon by a terrible beast. And you are the gunner. And you are the gunner's mate, we'll say for now. Pretty confident that that's the gunner on account of he's giving the command. I'm not sure on the gunner's mate. And I'm not sure actually on the, the guy dying by being... Shot by a cannon, I'm just not, I'm not sure. I also wonder if I should actually just put that they got shot by him. Um, I wonder if it will accept. But I can't uh, can't put shot by him in the short run. All right. Well, folks, I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time, even. We've solved a number of deaths. We've solved, what, 12, 15? And uh, we now have some question marks that we can begin to start thinking about answering. But um, we have a lot more to do. We have a lot more to see. And this will be the next thing that we find out. But I'm not going to click it this time. No, I'm not. 
See you next time, which will be this Thursday at 1 p.m.